What's up guys, Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. Trust you guys are all doing well. Hey, wanted to do a video for you guys really quick. Uh, I got a little bit of driving time. Actually headed up to Tractor Supply Company. Want to go shoot a quick video up there, do some different things that I think would really help you guys out as well. But on this video, I wanted to talk to you guys about lawn care pricing and commanding better lawn care prices and really just how to have better prices in general for lawn care. Now, this is gonna be a little bit different kind of video for you guys, so I want you to give me a little latitude here. Uh, I am going to kind of uh, attack the meat of the question that I keep getting asked a lot is, hey, how much do we charge, and how do I charge for this, and how do I charge for that? And those are all really, really good questions, so let me try to weigh in a little bit on that topic. Uh, but number two, I wanted to give you guys some thought process, okay? I wanted to give you guys just my perspective on things, and right or wrong, this is just my opinion. Is that fair with you guys? So let me go into this really quick. A lot of you guys ask prices for lawn care, and you're asking things like, uh, how much do we charge for a uh, quarter acre lot subdivision style lawn, okay? And you, one thing you guys got to realize is that every area uh, of the, the region, of the country, of the world is entirely different. And one subdivision, it might be $25. You go two miles down the road, the uh, subdivisions are a little uh, wealthier, if you want to call it that, higher net worth individuals, and it might be a $35 weekly cut. There's no real litmus uh, necessarily on uh, what exactly is the best price or the fair price or what it should be, right? Some guys will cut those lawns for $18 and, and they're happy, they're thankful, and they're, and they're gonna make money, sort of. Uh, some people think it's like, hey, I'm not gonna drop my ramp for less than $35 on a quarter acre lot lawn in a subdivision, and that's fine too, right? I, I totally get that, I see, I see both sides. So it's always hard for me or any other YouTuber, and I'll, and I'll step in their defense, that a lot of guys ask, hey, how much do we charge for things? And it's a really tough question to uh, really answer because everywhere is different. You know, again, where I cut, it might be $25. Where my friend Mike Bedell cuts, the same lawn might command a $45, $50 a week uh, premium, if that makes sense for you guys. So, uh, you know, down in uh, Tennessee, and. Uh, down in Alabama, down in Florida, you know, some people are like, hey, that lawn's a $35, that's a $50. And, you know, you might be in like some uh, urban city, nice, uh, kind of a higher end, like a, I don't know, I'm just kind of like naming names here, like Boston or like a, um, a you know, whatever, Washington DC, and they're really tiny lawns, you need a little specialized equipment. It might be a $50 weekly cut, right? So I, everywhere is different when it comes to pricing. Um, but one thing that I really want to let you guys know is that um, what I always try to make sure that I'm doing is uh, making sure that I'm taking care of the customer as well, um, and that's, that's kind of like the whole preface, right? But I want to make sure that I'm getting paid a fair amount of what I think I'm worth. And here's the the mindset of this whole, whole debacle, this this whole question, this whole debate is how much money are you worth? That's what you really got to figure out. When you're brand new and you're low skill, you have low knowledge, um, with, with experience, uh, all these other factors, you really can't charge that much. And I'm not going to be rude. This is just the facts of life. And this is this is just business 101, man. When you're brand new to something, you have no experience, so you're only worth ten dollars an hour, fifteen dollars an hour, twenty dollars an hour, whatever it is. You're you're only only limited uh, by you know your uh, experience and your your knowledge base on how to best take care of the customer, provide a service, provide value, right? And that's how almost everybody gets started in lawn care landscaping. Very few people like professionally start a landscaping business, in my opinion and in my observation. Most of us get started with uh, hand-me-down equipment. Maybe we buy some nice equipment and hey, we're off out of the gates and we want to charge fifteen dollars, twenty, twenty-five dollars a lawn, and that's good money until you learn a few things and that's part two when you learn a few things you start realizing hey I can get more productive with better equipment I can get more efficient with better equipment uh, I'm a little bit more knowledgeable about different turf grasses different diseases different uh, best practices right and there's different things you could advise your customer well you really haven't really done anything more than uh, become more valuable to your customers you've personally put a higher value on yourself and as you guys can imagine you now feel that your self-worth your your value to your offer 
offering that your uh, your fellow man is now going to go up in price. It doesn't mean you're more arrogant. It doesn't mean anything about anything. All right. This is just such a, a cluster of uh, of misnomers and misinformation and uh, and just uh, bad information that just keeps getting perpetuated. That just because you uh, want to start charging more doesn't mean that you think uh, that you're better than somebody else. It just means you're more valuable because you know things that other people don't. And that's and that's the game of life, okay? For for example, now you're making uh, $75 an hour because you're like, hey, I can add more service in a quicker amount of time. I can uh, coach my customer and give them best practices. There might be things we don't want to do, things we do want to do, and you just become more valuable. So now your rates go from $25 a week to $30 and $35 a week for that same cut. You now go from doing a mulch job for $400 to $800 because there's so many best practices and things you have to do in between all that and yes of course your overhead uh, increases so it's all relative it all has to expand uh, equally if that makes sense for you guys all right a little transition I'm at tractor supply I just got done parking I got to leave the sunglasses on man my uh, my eyes are not used to all the sun just yet but let me keep rolling on this ramp because I, I really 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 want to help you guys out so you went from 18 and 20 dollars an hour just getting started not knowing anything to 50 to 75 dollars an hour right and now you feel more comfortable. You're making a better income, a better earnings, a better living. Maybe you're making fifty to eighty thousand dollars a year, and you're like, "Hey, this is awesome, right?" Well, where is the next transition? Let me really tell you guys uh, what I've learned about business and success to date, and let's work our way backwards. Let's not kind of try to keep making more per hour. Uh, let's try to figure out how we can add more value per hour and thus charge more per hour. So what does that mean? Let's take, for example, you got 26 weeks in a year, right? And this is stuff I've learned in the last few years. Brian, why aren't you further along? Well, I'm learning things too every single day, consuming information, knowledge, and uh, applying it nonetheless uh, as fast as I can. So let's look at this fact really quick for you guys. Let's say you have 26 weeks in a lawn mowing season. I know it's longer for most of us, but let's take 26 weeks at 40 hours a week that's about a thousand and forty hours if I do my math correct. Well, let's say you want to make a hundred thousand dollars a year in that a uh, hundred thousand dollars in sales gross, of course, in that same window. Well, that means if you did the math and you divided it up, uh, basically, uh, you know, I'm not sure if I really even like graduated with from uh, math class and got my like uh, approval or credits or whatever you call it because uh, I think I got pushed out of school if you guys know what I'm saying. But what it basically comes down to is that you need to make like 96 to a hundred dollars an hour, which means you have to. Uh, uh, give a hundred dollars an hour type work. Well, that's really simple if you're a productivity nut. To me, as you guys know, that's four lawns per hour, and we do run those rates, so I can make that amount of money doing what I'm doing. Well, how do I make more money? Because that's always the question you guys really have. How, what, what do I charge for prices? Eventually, the question gets to is, how do I make more money? And how do you make more money is add more value to society, do things that other people can't do. And it's all really uh, in the preface of uh, solving problems. If you're not solving problems for society, nobody really gives a rip who you are or what you're doing, right? So let's take a look at this. If you want to make $200,000 a year, right? Obviously, you need to do $200 per hour work in that 40 hours a week at $200 per hour rates. Now, again, this is all gross, so you know, uh, you take this through a grain of salt and filter it through a brain cell, of course, because uh, you're going to have expenses and overhead. So now you're thinking to yourself, how do I make $200 an hour work? Well, that means that I probably have to do a $1,500 uh, job every single day, maybe even more, maybe $3,000 job every single day, minus my three or four uh, guys are going to be working for me paying them 15 to 20 dollars an hour minus all of my business overhead minus all my business expenses so you're thinking to yourself how can i do three thousand dollars of work per day as you guys can imagine we're going from lawn care now to landscaping we're going from landscaping and mulch and plants and shrubs to brick pavers we're doing brick pavers to large patios large concrete jobs large hardscaping right and that's where you start adding uh so much more value per hour and that's how some of these guys uh, are just literally killing it. They make four or five hundred thousand dollars a year. Yes, you're reselling materials. I'm not going into that right now. I'm just trying to help you guys out with the fact that in the beginning, you don't know anything. You're only worth ten, fifteen dollars an hour. It's neck down type labor, right? Uh, after that, you start figuring some things out. And you're like, hey, I can make 
50 to $100 an hour by being more productive and adding more value because I'm worth more because I know more things and I can solve more people's problems. After that, there's another level and, and I'm sure there's four, five, and six, right? This, this rabbit hole can go on forever. But now it's how do I charge better prices? Well, it's not necessarily how do we charge better prices, it's figure out how much money you wanna make and what do you gotta make per hour. So again, 26 weeks, 1,000 labor hours, that means you gotta be making $100 per hour to be making that 100 grand a year mark. So on and so forth. So if you wanna make 500 grand a year doing lawn care, landscaping, or anything in life, eventually you gotta figure out how to make that per hour. Little side note for you guys, if you're dicking around on Facebook or you're dicking around on Instagram or you're not doing something productive because you get stuck in the YouTube rabbit hole and you just burn 30 to 40 minutes, well, guess what? Now you just not only didn't make that $100 an hour or you lost out on $75 an hour, um, if you wanna still make that same amount of revenue per day, now you have to figure out how to make those other hours $110 hour rates versus just $95 rates. Does that make sense? So that's how most people start off. They, I'm just gonna go cut lawns for $10, $15 an hour. They find out that they only made $18,000 their first year. They learn a couple things and three years later, they're finding out that, hey, I made $40,000. Not too bad for a high school, college, push out, whatever you guys want to determine yourself, that little moniker. And it's not a put down, it's just the fact, right? Then three, four, five years into this thing, you go, wow, I can make 75, 80, maybe 100 grand doing this thing. That's all fine and dandy, but it just keeps going to the fact where how can I solve more people's problems and by doing that, charge more on my rates? Now you can do a full landscape install, uh, install for some company or some apartment complex or whatever it is. And you're beautifying the whole place. You're adding so much value to society where, hey, now you're uh, uh, charging fifty thousand dollars for this install, you made you know ten thousand dollars that week. You worked forty hours and you're at a uh, five hundred dollar an hour rate or whatever. Do you guys get what I'm saying though? So add more value to people, solve more people's problems. That's how you make more money. There's not really anything else that it, it really comes down to. Um, and so that's how I'm gonna try to help you guys solve the, what do I charge for lawn care prices? I know this is a completely different, uh, maybe attack on this topic, but I know a lot of you guys are always like, well, hey, what do I charge for a quarter acre lot? Is it 25 or $30? Is a half acre lot $40? And a, and a one acre lot $60 per hour? I don't know. The real answer is I don't know because I don't know where you live. I don't know the client. If they're wealthier, of course we all try to charge more. That's that's any game in life. That's any industry in life. But really what it is is you have to uh, assimilate so much knowledge, accumulate so much knowledge I should say, uh, and it doesn't mean you become a bookworm. It just means that you can solve people's problems and the faster you do it, the more efficiently you do it, the more uh, productively you do it, the better your income is going to be case closed. Now, again, I'm talking about gross numbers here. Always remember the fact that uh, our business, you're going to have anywhere from a, I don't know, a 35% profit margin, you know, plus or minus, depending on how well you run your business. Uh, so if you want to make a hundred grand, you probably got to do two to 300 grand in business. Just, just some of the numbers for you guys. Now you might have a higher profit margin. I know I, I absolutely do. Uh, we run razor thin white, uh, you know, numbers, razor thin, mar um, not margins, but, um, we're, we're just product productive. Okay. Let's just call a spade a spade. I don't have a lot of overhead by design. So all things being said, hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I know I tackled this topic kind of in a different mindset, a different attitude, but guys, I'm just trying to be real with you. Like I, I really want to sincerely see more people succeed in our industry and in the lawn care uh, game, if you will. And if you keep asking the same simple questions, you're going to get same simple answers, but take it plus one, take it plus two, understand that there's more to the, the mindset and the puzzle than just getting a lawnmower and going out there to be, be productive. And by the way, you could apply the same exact attitude and mindset to any other uh, area or uh, industry in life, whether it's real estate, marketing, sales, uh, the, the same business success and principles all apply and they're all the same. So, all right guys, over and out. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, shoot a big thumbs up. I'm trying to do videos that, you know, uh, I don't necessarily, um, uh, they're not popular videos, you know what I mean? I don't care if this video only gets a thousand views because I'm not in it for the views. I'm sincerely here to help you guys uh, succeed in this industry that has helped me become more successful. And so if you guys enjoyed this one, shoot a big thumbs up. If you enjoyed it, maybe share it with somebody who's uh, also uh, a nerd just like us and uh, wants to make more money, congrats. Enjoying the blue uh, blue sun and the nice sun rays out there every single day uh, because you can't make a killing in our industry. You just need to know what you're trying to do and what you're trying to accomplish, if that makes sense. All right, guys. Fair 
fair enough. So hopefully you enjoyed this one. If you did, shoot a big thumbs up. Like I said, don't forget to subscribe if you're new. We're always doing business tips and mindset videos like this. And uh, as always, guys, I appreciate the support. Leave me a comment down below. This one help you guys out or uh, do I just talk too fast and uh, you guys like somebody else better on YouTube? Just let me know. I don't really care, but uh, just having fun, right? All right, guys, over and out. We'll catch up with you guys here soon. Stay out of trouble and we'll catch you guys in the rebound. I don't know what this is. Bye-bye.